labor with small businesses and major companies to invest in America, to create good jobs, achieve broad-based growth, and ensure that America continues to define the future and lead the world. Okay, so far nothing means anything. Your salary should be enough to provide you and your family with a good quality of life. Communism. No child should have to grow up in poverty. Communism. You should be able to retire with dignity. We don't believe in retiring here and in America. you should be able to join a union if you choose. Retirement Building up the middle class in America will be a, a defining reader. goal of my presidency. I will address in greater detail my plans to build an opportunity economy. And today, I will focus on one element that's on the minds of many Americans. This is like a common neoliberal brain rot that you should always keep an eye out for. You cannot simultaneously say, I believe that everyone uh, should be able to have a decent standard of life and then call it an opportunity economy. I don't want people to have the opportunity to live a decent life. I want that to be a guarantee. I want a guarantee economy, you know? It's still the liberal framing, the idea that the the you know, the market is a battlefield where you're you you know, you have the chance to rise. What does rising mean? What does rising look like? You get to become Elon Musk, you know? Wow, if you do really really well, you get to like, you know, impoverish millions of other people through your accumulation of wealth disproportionately skew the country right with your political leanings and also be a retard who like i don't know abandons their children like what's the what's the winning here you know you should be guaranteed a good life the bills add up <laughs> food rent gas back to school clothes yeah. prescription medication yeah, right. after all that for many families there's mu not much left at the end of the month. In college, I worked at McDonald's to earn spending money. Well, some of the people I worked with were raising families on that paycheck. They worked second or even third jobs to pay rent and buy food. That only gets harder when the cost of living goes up. When I am elected president... Never forget that the demon here is capitalism. Not to be one of those YouTubers. Wow, do you know the problems caused by capitalism? But, like, literally, in terms of the absolute productive power of the human race, we have the ability to provide everyone a decent life. Like, genuinely. Anyone who says otherwise is lying to you. Everyone in America, certainly, with our disproportionate wealth and access and so on and so forth, everyone in America could easily, easily, we could sustain a middle-class lifestyle. It wouldn't even be that difficult. But there are trillions and trillions of dollars kept out of the economy by rich fucks. They hoard it all in the fucking Cayman Islands or whatever. Um, you know, the Panama Papers, an ungodly amount of wealth is just removed from society so it can sit in a vault you know, not do anything. It doesn't circulate. You give money to the middle class, they spend it on stuff. The economy gets stimulated. You give money to the wealthy, they hoard it. They don't need to spend it because they're already wealthy, you know? Um, and wealth accumulation as such is like increasing year after year. You know, this it's like an economic, they're like leeches, you know, parasites, one might say. It's almost, you know, I'm not to sound like a communist here or anything, but the, the bourgeoisie, you know, folks, I don't like what they're doing to the economy. I think they might be contributing to the oppression of the working class. I don't, I don't think they're, I think we're getting a raw deal. Banks lend money. It doesn't sit in a cash flow. I didn't say banks. I said the wealthy. Look into the Panama Papers. Trillions, tens of trillions of dollars just removed from the economy. Just yoink. They yoinked it. They're yoinking it. Many of the big food companies are seeing their highest profits in two decades. Mm -hmm. And while many grocery chains pass along these savings... Others still aren't. No, I don't think any grocery chains are passing. Find me a grocery chain that's like, we're making a lot of money and we're going to reduce the prices of all of our goods because of it. I don't, mm, I don't know about that. I don't believe in the, you know, not all grocery chains. Look, I know most businesses are creating jobs, contributing to our economy, no. and playing by the rules. No, for one, the rules are rigged in their favor. Contributing to the economy is a meaningless, like what contributing to, that's that's meaningless. Everyone, everyone and everything does. That's what the economy is. Uh, and they don't create jobs. Job creation rhetoric, neoliberal bullshit. They don't create jobs. The need for labor exists. 
They facilitate it. If anything, it's the workers who create the profits for the owning class, you know, creating jobs, honestly. We're creating for you the opportunity to do things that make us money. Oh, does the creation on our end, like, make us have to do any work? No, you're the one doing the work. That's the job we're creating. Fuck you. As president, I will go after the bad actors. Yeah. See, exactly. Bad actors rather than bad system. You get it. Kind of like the liberal parallel to what the Project 2025 guy was saying about how there are no bad systems, only bad individuals, you know? Except he was talking about people of different races and, you know, she's talking about the mythical good capitalists. Two months ago, I announced that medical debt will no longer be used against your credit score. That's, that's also kind of like a liberal take because medical debt should absolutely be counted in your credit score. It's just that the credit score shouldn't exist. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, okay, if you accept, if you take for granted the idea that a credit score should exist, medical debt absolutely should be a part of it. It's just that the credit score shouldn't exist. So it's like, ah, oh, well, we've arbitrarily decided that this one unfair element of an unfair measurement is, uh, is unfair, but we're not going to like, you know, take it the full way. Build an America where everyone's work is rewarded and talents are valued. Liberal rhetoric. Where we work with labor and business to strengthen Labor the and business, class collaborationism, that's an element of fascism. Sorry, folks, she's as bad as Trump. Maybe worse than Trump, 10 times as bad as Trump, I would say. We're gonna get this done. And with your help, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. God bless you. All right, the Clinton era of economics continues. I mean, obviously, we didn't expect anything else. To what degree do you think our economic policy is so centrist? It's not centrist. This is communism. In American politics, this is communism. What could she propose that would be politically viable and make you happy? Uh, I'm banning you for the rest of the stream. Insufferable. Oh my God. It's like you forget. We need to do this more often. You, yeah, you people don't understand critical support. You're just like all the Twitter leftists. They hear critical support and what they think is like, oh, uh, completely uncritical dick sucking, you know? Did you think it was uncritical support to Kamala Harris? Christ alive. Is it preferable to not doing anything? Of course it's preferable to not doing anything. Are Twitter leftists libs? Well, if you define a liberal as someone who's wrong, then yes, many Twitter leftists are in fact liberals. If you want to disregard fears over alienating moderates, why not go out that extra mile? What are you talking about? I think you need to front the idea that it's preferable to nothing. No, if somebody listens to what I'm saying and their thought is that I'm critical of this as compared to nothing being done at all, that's a reading comprehension failure on their part. And it's not my job to massage IQ lotion into their smooth, smooth brain until it absorbs the points necessary to parse what I'm saying. This is not a moderate space. I don't need to qualify every criticism of liberal economic policy with, but, but just so you guys know, she's still better than Trump as though that isn't already obvious, okay? I don't, I'm not here to assuage your low IQ. You should figure it out yourselves. And if you can't, it's your fault. This is insane. It's liberals, dude. Soup brains. Vosh, the Democratic Party, hasn't been this energized since 08, and we're up against literally Hitler too. We don't need clickbait against Kamala. Are you fucking kidding? You're actually doing it. You're actually doing the, like, if you criticize Kamala Harris, you're supporting... All right, you're taking a month. Liter actually, fuck you. I can't believe you guys. Jesus, man. Yeah, I've heard this one before. If it was 2016, I'd be like, hey, Hillary Clinton's kind of fucking terrible. And you guys would be like, so you want Trump to win, huh? Thanks. Peering through time and space, you know? Vosh is forgetting he called Paul's ego a fascist over the same issue. I called Paul's ego a fascist because he thought it was okay to critique Biden for not having better economic policy. Is that, is that true? Is that how that went down? It's crazy, man. However mean you guys think I am to you, I promise you it's not mean enough. They're all IRI viewers who never say anything bad about the Democrats. They're so insufferable. I mean, it might be partly that. Hello, Artemy. So you're saying you're in favor of bullying Lamau? That's always been the case. You've actually been way more patient than usual with chat lol. Been the, been the goddamn uh, icon of mercy. YouTube chat saying Vouch is going through a breakup and that's why he's abrasive. Wishful thinking on their part. They want to sneak in and swoop me up, but it's not happening, folks. My partner has the sauce and you simply don't. 
Also, this is hardly me being grumpy. People always do that. They're like, man, he's in such a bad mood today when I'm in a good mood and I'm just arguing with chat. Maybe you're at, maybe you're fragile enough that stuff like this would be enough to tank your mood for the day, but me, I'm built of sterner stuff. You have no idea. Thank you.